Hi, I'm Sean Ganim, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring by grouping. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 16x squared c plus 8xyd minus 16x squared d minus 8xyc, and we need to factor this completely. Well, one thing I noticed is that 8x is in all parts here, so I'm going to pull that out. Pulling out an 8x here, I'm left with a 2xc plus just a yd minus a 2xd and then minus the yc. Okay. Well, now I'm going to rearrange inside the parentheses to put my similar terms together. So 8x still comes down, and I have a 2xc here first, but I'm going to put the 2x, uh, the minus 2xd next. They both have a 2x, I notice. Then we have the yd right here, and then the minus yc here. Okay? Not too bad. Now I can show my groupings. I'm going to group the first two here and the second two. 8x comes down, and the first two, I notice a 2x comes out of both. So I take a 2x out, and I'm left with a c minus a d. Be careful with the parentheses and the c's. They look alike. The second part, both of them have a y in it. So if I pull out a y, okay, so pulling out a y, I have a d minus a c here. Hmm. c minus d is very close to d minus c. And I know by grouping I need to pull that out. So if I change this around, if I pull out a negative here, right, so if I pull out a negative number from both of them, this becomes negative, that becomes positive, and this becomes negative. So let's rewrite that, 8x times 2x times a c minus d minus y times, rearrange, c minus the d here. Now it's a little easier. A c minus d I can pull out from both parts, left with a 2x minus y here, and the 8x comes down. And so my final answer is 8x times 2x minus y times c minus d. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.